Hello, people of the interwebs. Get comfortable here. I just thought I would do a uh, quick sort of how-to, I guess, on uh, rivets, getting them to look three-dimensional. I'm just using um, some run-of-the-mill um, circle-type stencil here. Um, this is from Air Six Stencils, I believe. This one, and uh, the tape here is just to give me a straight line reference. The key to making these things look three-dimensional is to use your dark color on the bottom, creating the shadow, and leave the top of the circle fairly open because we're going to go back in and add a shadow on the other side of that. So I'll just throw down a couple quickly here. And you can see I've left the top fairly open. It's not fully closed off with paint. Simple as that. And we take, we've used this part of the stencil to spray that. Well, now we're going to use this part up here to block off the rivet that we've just sprayed. And we're going to give it a little bit of a shadow on the top. And you can see how that closes off the actual rivet um, and gives you sort of a 3D effect as if the, the metal where the rivet is has been punched in. And it's creating a small shadow. Just cut out the top half of the rivet. It's really all you want to put the shadow on. And you want to be careful to make sure it's lined up well or you're going to lose the effect. All right, so that's step one. Then we'll switch over to white. Or I mean, whatever colors you're using, but uh, in this case, we're just using black and white uh, reduced nicely to give us uh, a nice soft spray pattern and with the white we're just going to come on the bottom of the rivet now because this is if the metal's punched in um, this is where the highlights going to fall if the lights coming from above us. Just a small again you don't want to overdo it just a small amount of white just enough to punch out small highlight, like light is being reflected where the metal bent over. And I usually like to do a little bit of a shadow underneath there, just to push back the white a little bit. Tiny highlight on the top of the circle. Just a soft sort of highlight on the top. And that's pretty much it. It's a quick and easy, simple way to get uh, three dimensional looking rivets. And any uh, job that you might need those. That's it. See you next time.